What's up you two, Audio Olympian bringing the sound and video to you today. Today's video clip really quick, just wanted to show a quick clip of the new theater room area. I did some revamping on it, changed the system around. If you've been following our channel, if you watch my videos before, we appreciate your support. But you saw that I used to have my component rack um, right up in the front. So I decided to change that, give me a more open front stage here with just the speakers. And uh, I did need to keep a uh, power conditioner up in the front because my towers are powered and I got two subwoofers additional to my reference speakers running up top. So I needed to be able to plug those in. Um, so we're not totally done, but it's a work in progress. We're able to actually start watching movies in here now. So that's been a big thing. The, the system has been totally taken apart and been apart for a few weeks now. Um, so I'm really excited about being able to at least watch some movies and listen to some music in here. So if this is your first time visiting our channel, we want to thank you. Uh, please consider subscribing. We appreciate your support. Hit that like notification if you found this video entertaining for you. And kick that bell notification as well. And that'll let you know when we drop another video to the tube. So we'll see you back here in a minute. new rack um, and I made this myself just very simple easy project some uh, half inch plywood and two by fours just put it all together but just thought I'd give a sneak peek here on the back and the complexity of what it's like to have multiple separates and amplifiers hooked up to your system so as you can see here I run Full XLR. We can kind of sneak in here and see those connections. So right down in here, let's get in here. I run a full XLR uh, connection. So balanced cables. Uh, I was running a balanced cable on the subwoofer right now. Let me see if I can get in there close. I'm just running um, RCA now on the subwoofer, and the reason for that is I haven't gotten my um, XLR cable that's going to reach all the way up front for my subwoofer. I haven't received that one yet. I just ordered one. Mono price, very inexpensive, like $26, $27, something like that. And uh, they sound really good and they're great for XLRs and I'm using it on my SVS PB16. And then down here you can see I got each one of my Emotiva XPA2s that I run bridged, 1000 watts each for my front three main speakers. So I'm running full now for Golden Ear. I'm running full reference um, front stage. So I have the reference center channel and then I have the Triton reference um, towers for my mains. And we'll show that here in a second. So here's the front stage now. Still a work in progress. We're gonna clean all this up, get them wires up out of there, or at least hidden, so they're not so, so noticeable. But still running both subwoofers. I'm running full reference now on the front stage here because that's the reference uh, center channel from Golden Ear. I wish it did look better. It looks exactly the same as the XXL, but it does sound a lot better and it better timber matching with the uh, reference towers here. So once we get everything up and running, uh, we'll do some sound demos on that for that center reference in case you're looking to do the upgrade um, which I did and I just wanted to clean the front stage up here a little bit if you've seen my videos before or following our channel uh, we used to have all of our equipment right up here in the front so now we moved it over to the rack which is going to be hidden off to the side so we even got a little bit more room and in our theater room here which has kind of been the goal and just wanted to have better access to my speakers, a lot easier um, in the event I need to change anything or do anything different. That's what I, that was our goal here. So it's coming along. Uh, we'll definitely show you and have a nice cool video out when uh, everything's up and running.
ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? 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 You are about to experience now the future of sound based on a revolutionary new system called Oro 3D. This is a three-dimensional audio technology that is changing the landscape of the cinematic experience. Oro 3D features sound reproduction that is more realistic than anything you've heard before. It draws you into the action on screen, fully immersing you in a spectrum of lifelike sound. Natural acoustic reflections affect you as they do in real life, originating not only from around you, but also above you. Spatial sound can be divided into three different layers, sounds coming from the horizontal plane around us. Above this is a second layer that reveals both direct sounds and height reflections. The when you stole those teeth. Teeth? Why do you care about the teeth? <laughs> so there you go, that was just a few clips here. Uh, I wanted to do the Oral 3D, that was the 2014 disc, uh, Volume 1. Uh, if I'm trying to get this on the camera here for you without getting a glare on it, if you can see that there. Um, I really like the Oral 3D sound. I think it's better out of the three of the Atmos and DTS-X. It just has a lot more um, nuance, it uses a lot more of the surround sound. And most of the Oral 3D content that is out there, which there isn't a whole lot, a lot of it does come um, 11.2 or 7.4.2, however you do, however you have your system set up. More so than a lot of the Atmos movie soundtracks because those are still coming out at, at like 7.2. Uh, none of them have really anything of 11 channel um, signal processing on that yet. But there are a few Oral 3D uh, movies and discs that you can get. They're European style, so your players might not be able to um, play those. So you just have to be careful on what you get and make sure that your player is compatible with it. Uh, mine is with my Oppo. And so I like using that. I, fi I find that that sound uh, signal process is a lot more surround sound system. And that's what I got all this stuff for, right? To really enjoy that immersive sound there. So that was just a quick video there, showing you guys a little bit of what we've uh, been having going on here, working on and working towards. Um, again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.